Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see the big steps in order to create a certificate in Inkscape. So the certificate that you can see in front of you has not been designed with Inkscape actually. It's a friend of mine. Uh, she's, she designed it for me and um, actually some days ago I realized that I was not able to reproduce it myself with a free software so as a result i decided to dig a little bit more into the possibility of creating such a certificate for the flows marketing school with a free software so in fact i started out with uh, gimp okay as you can see here and the issue that i face with gimp is actually gimp is made of pixel which means that it's not suitable at all for uh, documents which are designed in order to be printed out and even if this given document that you can see over here has been designed with the right uh, property so if i put it in in millimeters okay um, you will see it start at uh, zero and it goes up to um, 29296 so it's exactly the same dimension as the a4 page you see if i zoom a little bit more i will see that i have some pixel and as a result if I generate PDF out of this document, this is the document I will get. And as you can see here, you can clearly see that the images are kind of blur and, and that's not good at all. And that's not something that you can, of course, uh, produce. And that's the reason why you need to use Inkscape. So Inkscape is a free software such as GIMP. Instead of playing with pixel, it plays with uh, vectors. And uh, this is what we're going to see today. So I succeed in, in reproducing, in fact, the certificate within Inkscape. And as you can see, when you zoom on it, you can zoom as much as you want. You still don't get any pixel. And as a result, of course, when you print that out, uh, it, gets, uh, it gets better. So in this video, I'm just going to go briefly through the main steps that I went through in order to explain how I design, in fact, this uh, full certificate. So um, here the first information that you need to edit is uh, in file and document property because in file and document property this is where uh, you explain what is the size of the final document. So in your case probably if you want to make a certificate it will be in landscape. So once you set it in landscape you will get it like this. The second thing that you need to understand is that in Inkscape such as in GIP you have the concept of layer and this is what we can see over here below so in order to create some layer you have some different possibilities so you go over here in layer or it sh uh, shifts ctrl n and like this you can add in fact some layers and those layers are going to be uh, put uh, one to another and of course you can decide to hide or put those uh, layer active. So you start by designing, let's say the first rectangle, the one that you can see here. Here, the main uh, issue that I had when I started in Inkscape compared to GIMP is that I did not know how the rectangle are working. So uh, when you draw your rectangle, you have two colors, the fill and the stroke. So the fill correspond, of course, to the color which is inside the rectangle and the stroke correspond to the border. So for example, here, if I do something like this, okay, um, here it means that this is a rectangle which is uh, white filled and if I would like to define what's going to be the uh, border, so here for example, uh, even if it's defined in black, there's no border that you can see because here the width of the border is set to zero, but if I increase it a little bit more, you will see I will get my uh, my border. Okay, So that's the thing that you need to understand in order to create uh, the rectangle. Um, and then uh, once you do your uh, first and second rectangle, uh, you will probably have to create here the ribbon. So the ribbon is created of several shapes. In fact, here you have your main rectangle and then you have one rectangle of a different color that you put at a layer which is below this one and that you uh, rotate a little bit in order uh, for it to fit exactly this place and you can even create another rectangle in a white color in order to hide this given part and that's exactly the same thing that we are using over here in order to um, let's say cut uh, the ribbon and here as you can see uh, this one is not correct because it's a bit rounded so I need to uh, correct it in order to be like this a bit sharp so that's something uh, that you are uh, deciding when uh, you double click on your uh, given um, on your given shape you can in fact alter control it and if you double click you even get in fact this little 
uh, let's say, circle, which is here in order to decide the shape of your um, of your uh, of your square. Then, uh, regarding the image, which are here in the background, you can manage here the opacity. So opacity is of course great if you would like to make it uh, transparent or not. So that's what I used over here. Here the signature is uh, nothing more than a signature that I did with uh, a pen and a tablet uh, and in Inkscape because in Inkscape you get uh, the possibility to have some nice curve when you are writing. So for example here, uh, if I just try to, let's say, make like a O. So for example, if I go like this, you see it's kind of ugly, I will say, the way I did it, but uh, if you zoom, uh, it, will be it will be better in any case than if I would have done it with, with GIMP. So of course, if uh, you have a good handwriting and that uh, you use a tablet, you will easily get a nice signature such as this one that you can, of course, easily insert after within um, Inkscape by basically just doing like a copy and paste, okay? So you will just copy and paste your given uh, picture from here uh, to there by just a mere copy and paste. Um, then uh, regarding the stamp, the one that you can see over here is just uh, one circle, um, which is just before uh, one uh, shape that you design. And um, this shape that you design is made of a star, which is like this. In fact, this star, as you can see, you get the property over here. You decide the number of corners that you would like to get. And you decide as well uh, what they call the spark ratio. And you decide as well if it's going to be rounded or if it's going to be sharp. And in fact, it's like this that you can decide, in fact, the given stamp. Here, uh, we are using as well for the ribbon the same techniques that we use uh, above. And that's it. In fact, uh, that's all that you need, as well as knowing uh, the shortcut. So every time that you use Inkscape, just over your mouse over the given icon, and it's going to tell you, in fact, uh, the different. Uh, it's going to take the different features. So this is what I did over here. You see, I press Shift and Shift allow me to unzoom. And uh, regarding the text, it's as well very easy. You just need to pick it up over here and just click and then just type your text and that's it. And once it's done, you can just generate by uh, clicking here on, um, on uh, save as, and then you can decide either to go for a PDF or either to go for SVG or even to convert it to a PNG file. And then you can, of course, insert it in whatever you want. And that's it uh, for uh, the video of today. So I really hope uh, that uh, you enjoyed it. Um, as a good practice, I strongly recommend you to uh, try to create your own certificate. It's a very fast when you have, of course, the time uh, to, um, let's say, to experiment all the different features. So you should count about two to three hours in order to be able to design like this your first certificate without any knowledge of Inkscape before. Once more, uh, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to create your own video and share them on social networks.